right, I nearly ran over my phone. It would have been a wrap. What's the deal, folks? Welcome to Device Overdose. I am your host, Ty. If you happen to stumble across the channel and you love electric bikes like me, you are in the right place. In today's episode, I will be revisiting the Electric XP e-bike. Also, I will be unboxing and installing the Cane Creek Thudbuster suspension seat post. I will take a look at the design. I'm going to take the bike out back and test out the Thudbuster seat post. Also, with spring in full effect, I'm going to bless you with some minor cleaning steps that should help you keep your XP looking good and riding smooth. So let's K-I-M and keep it moving into the video. If you own the electric XP and if your ass is narrow like mine, then I'm sure you can understand my need for suspension. So today I will be installing the Cane Creek Thudbuster Long Travel Suspension Seat Post. The Thudbuster is one of several different suspension posts that you can purchase. And this particular device offers a slightly different suspension system. A little bit of box inception going on here. It's a little bigger than I thought it would be. And it's really light. Now here we have a nice ass device. On the front of the seat post, the height adjustments are listed so you can fine tune your riding height. And of course you have your Cane Creek Thudbuster logo. The seat post will fit most standard bicycle seats. At first glance, the connection looks different. It's clever but basic. All right guys, hold tight while I run and grab the original Electric XP seat post. Okay, so let's go ahead and uninstall the original Electric XP suspension post and I will be replacing Placing it with the futuristic looking Thudbuster LT. But before you go online and purchase an expensive seat or suspension seat post, I would suggest that you try adjusting the tension on the original Electric XP seat post first. Now at the bottom of the original Electric XP seat post, twist off the protective cap that covers the hex bolt. Now that black cap is just to protect the internal spring from moisture. It does not adjust the tension on the spring. The XP seat post has a large 12 millimeter hex bolt that can be adjusted. And I'm not sure if you can tell from this angle but there's nearly an inch of travel space inside of the pole. I suggest adjusting the spring to nearly the last thread if you are under 190 pounds. You can use a half inch 12 millimeter hex bit socket or an 11 millimeter hex bit socket to adjust the spring. Both sizes will fit the hex bolt. Also, I will leave links in the description for the tools and devices that I used in this video. Let's keep it moving. All right, I am missing something. All right, did I manage to leave some shit inside of this box again? Of course I did. These little rubber shock absorbers are called elastomers. Two extra elastomers will come with the Thudbuster seat post. Also, these little rubber shock absorbers have number codes to identify the individual shock absorbing strength. The device will come with four elastomers in total. You get two number five elastomers, which translates to medium resistance, and they are already pre-installed out the box on the seat post. Also included in the box is a number three elastomer, which translates to soft, and the last elastomer is a number seven, which is firm. The Thudbuster's compression cycle has a travel distance of 76 millimeters. In simpler terms, the device works. You will notice the suspension. The Thudbuster can support the weight of a rider up to 250 pounds. Also, Cane Creek offers several different sizes and models of their suspension seat posts. And folks, if you are interested in purchasing a suspension seat post, be sure to cross-reference with the original seat post because seat posts do come in different sizes and diameter. Next, let's go grab the original Electric XP suspension post and disconnect the seat. <laughs> Hold tight, guys. Let me bust this down real quick. Also, the video is broken down into time codes, so you guys can wrench around down there and flash to the next segment. My bag. Somebody's alarm is going off.
All right, that wasn't too painful. It took about five minutes. The seat post swap is complete. All right, let's go install the Thud Buster on the electric XP. Then we can bounce up out of here and put the seat post through a small test. I purchased the 31.6 millimeter seat post and the device fit my electric XP perfectly. No seat post shim needed. All right, let's bounce up out of here and check out the seat post. So next, we are going to take a look at how the Thud Buster provides suspension. So right off the bat, what I'm noticing as I get on the bike, the seat sits far too upward for me. I feel like I'm in that awkward, upright, scoot forward position. And this position exacerbates my back pain. In my situation, I need to purchase a compatible seat. Now, as for the seat post, the Thud Buster is fantastic. And if you are looking for a plush, cushion-infused ride, grab yourself a Thud Buster LT. All right, with that being said, in my opinion, the original Electric XP seat does not play well with the Thud Buster seat post. The seat positioning is awkward, and it seems as though no matter how tight the seat was connected to the Thud Buster, the seat just kept sliding backwards and forward. So yeah, I would consider an alternative seat option if you are going to purchase the Thud Buster. So folks, the Cane Creek suspension seat post is a nice upgrade for your electric XP e-bike. The high quality build coupled with some adroit contrived engineering equals a dope ass seat post. The Thud Buster long travel will cost you 130 green stamps. And of course, I will leave links in the description. All right, folks, that is a wrap for the Cane Creek Thud Buster suspension seat post review. Next, I am going to take the electric XP inside and attempt to clean it up some. But hold up, folks, before we bounce up out of here, allow me me to show you the useful walk up hill feature real fast let's say you need to get up a steep hill or in my case you do not want to ride over icy uneven terrain with your camera gear on the control pad hold the down arrow for three seconds after holding the down arrow for three seconds the engine will kick in giving you some powered assistance All right, let's keep it moving. I suggest purchasing a decent bike repair stand if you have the space. It just makes basic maintenance and cleaning mad easy. This is the Song Mike's bike repair stand with quick release. This will cost you 60 green stamps. And of course, I will leave links in the description for your purchasing pleasure. The Electric XP is one of the most sought after and affordable folding e-bikes on the market. And keeping your Electric XP clean is important. So let me show you some basic maintenance maintenance accessories that you should have for more efficiency. Buy yourself a non-expensive cleaning kit. Nothing crazy. After all, you spent nearly a thousand green stamps on your electric ride. First, check your chain. Keep it clean and free of debris. Do not allow grease and dirt to build up on your chain or your drivetrain, simply because these are some of the most important moving parts on your bike and you do not want them to get damaged. And while we are on the topic of moving parts, always take a few minutes to check the biggest moving parts on your XP. The tires. Checking and cleaning your tires every so often is a good idea in general. All right, let's keep it moving. Next, I recommend keeping your tires inflated to the correct pressure at 30 PSI. So try to keep those tires inflated properly. This helps you achieve maximum range per charge. All right, folks, I'm gonna break this shit off right here and wrap this up because I have taken up enough of your time. I know it's been a little minute since I came through game aside i just got busy that being said i am in no way about to stop making these videos i want to thank you guys for sticking around and all of my new subscribers for joining us we appreciate your support and as always if you did find any of this information useful please hit that like button it really does help out the channel subscribe and also bless that notification bell all right folks hold it down i catch y'all on the rebound